Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. We've got an article to go over from Screen Rant titled The Flash Season 7 Won't Film Until Industry Debate Ends. So, we've got some topics to talk about. This is obviously a very big topic, like as in regards to when The Flash is going to return. Also, we've got a few more things to talk about towards the end of the video. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so first off, we're going to be reading through this article. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So, production on The Flash Season 7 won't go ahead until a conflict over COVID testing is resolved by crew unions in Vancouver where the show shoots. The long-running show is one of the most popular to ever run on CW and has proven to be as big, if not more so, than Arrow where series star Grant Gustin made his debut as Barry Allen. The ambitious DC show is now the centre of the Arrowverse following the finale of Arrow earlier this year, and season 7 is set up to be one of the most exciting yet after 6 was cut short due to the pandemic, so that's season 6. And so the show saw improved ratings for season 6 due in part to the massive crossover event, Crisis on Infinite Earths, which was an ambitious storyline told told over a number of shows. And so that's just kind of a recap in that paragraph. You guys can check out the link in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to skip over that bit and get to sort of the important bit of the article. So, however, Deadline reports that The Flash is one of the shows that will be affected by the current COVID testing dispute playing out in Vancouver, something that I personally didn't know. This is actually me talking. And... You know, we were expecting The Flash, you know, they're supposed to go back and do their quarantine for two weeks towards the end of August and they're supposed to return to filming around September 14th when Riverdale is officially set to come back. So The Flash should be coming around, you know, middle of September when they start to shoot because, you know, they have to quarantine for two weeks. So I kind of presumed that everything was going alright, but this article suggests differently. So the show is one of the many Arrowverse productions to shoot in the Canadian city, where crew unions are currently fighting with Hollywood unions over testing requirements. Due to the city's low rate of transmission, local crew members are balking at Hollywood union requirements to have crew tested every week. As a result, the dispute has seen a number of productions, including The Good Doctor, shut down. Additionally, all of the DC shows that shoot in the city will not be able to begin filming until this dispute is resolved. It's a strange new twist in the saga of the coronavirus pandemic, given that the most productions are being delayed because of COVID testing, and it's been done to keep crew safe. However, the crew union in Vancouver believes they're requiring the same stringent testing that Hollywood does is unnecessary, given that the pandemic has largely been controlled in Canada, especially compared to California, which has struggled through two major waves of the pandemic. Hopefully the impasse can be resolved. Given that The Flash Season 7 is set to debut in January 2021 and time is running out to meet that deadline, it also raises concerns about the quality of the show if the production is forced to contract their filming schedule to meet demand it runs the risk of rushing production and perhaps reducing the overall quality of the show, something that fans don't deserve after seven years. There is no end in the sight for this dispute, but once it is resolved, the expectation is that filming can go ahead as scheduled. So that is the article and what do I make of it? So it seems that, you know, there is this sort of conflict between some of the unions in Hollywood and the unions in Vancouver essentially meaning these organizations and they are organizations who you know control you know what can be done on set what are the regulations and everything like that what can be safe and what is not safe and obviously it's different and this article highlights it that Canada and America are going through different things right now especially California which has been hit very hard compared to say Vancouver which is relatively low in its transmission rate right now so they're doing better and there is obviously some conflict in, you know, what is best. And so, you know, we'll have to wait and see. And, you know, Vancouver believes that, you know, the stringent testing that Hollywood does is largely unnecessary when, you know, they've done the two-week quarantine and everything like that. And so it's just, you know, comparing to California, which has struggled with the pandemic recently. Okay, so then there's a few points later in the article. So... You know, they say 
that time is running out to meet the deadline of January 2021, when I don't think that is a big deal, because The Flash actually does work on a tight schedule when you look at it. But saying that, they do actually like to start filming a bit earlier, so they like to start filming at the end of July. And so, the next line they say is, it also raises concerns about the quality of the show if the production is forced to contract the filming schedule to meet demand, it runs the risk of rushing production and that's reducing the overall quality of the show. So I don't agree with this because, you know, The Flash, like I said, does run on a pretty tight schedule where they film an episode in about a week or so. So that's not very long compared to most TV shows and pretty much most of the time the quality of the show is basically the same. I wouldn't worry if, you know, The Flash had to shoot like three weeks before like you know when they were premiering say it was a normal October release date for episode one I wouldn't worry because you know they're used to this and especially if you see like later in the season they have a lot of episodes sort of in the can and then they actually end up shooting some stuff a bit more closer to you know the time the actual episode comes out and it's never a problem so I don't agree with this statement and so this problem you know, I don't think it raises anything about the quality of the show, but as of right now, obviously, if production can't go ahead because of these disputes, I don't think it will affect, like, you know, the actual release date in January 2021 when it's supposed to come out, because, you know, they're supposed to be filming in the middle of September, like, around September 14th or something like that, we've heard, you know, and then they've got so many months, it's literally, like, September, October, November, December, into January, that's how long they've got. That is a long, long time. Basically, if they actually get to go back to filming around September time, I reckon, you know, obviously they'll stop for Christmas, they'll have the break then, because they always do that every year, and, you know, that's just a fact. So they'll film up till Christmas, and by then they can film at least, like, four or five episodes or something like that. And that is before January, so there is no trouble at all, even if The Flash gets delayed by a few weeks into filming, like if they have to start filming at the start of October or something like that, there is no problem in that, because you've got October, November, December, and then you stop for Christmas, and they'll be fine, so I don't think there's anything to worry about over here. But yeah, so they just need to sort out this dispute. Okay, so let's move on to the final thing in the video. That is a question sent in by Sideswipes a boss, and he says, "Just want to say, I really like your channel. Thank you so much." And his question is, "What villain would you like to see as a main villain in the Flash season seven after Miramasa slash Mistress is defeated?" I personally would like to see either Cobalt Blue or Red Death. So, for me, I would say, you know, the most likely thing is maybe, you know, we'll see Mirror Mistress defeated, and then maybe we'll see, you know, some of the Black Hole storyline play out like a tiny bit, and that might lead into the Godspeed stuff because that is still a mystery from last season where there is someone in the future or someone, you know, wherever these Godspeeds are coming from who is controlling them, sending these sort of duplicates, these clones, these bots, and, you know, we need to find out who is sending them and what's the reason. They want infinite velocity, so they want speed, so it could be Rajin, we talked about this, that was a theory, he's a character in the comic books, who was around at the same time as Godspeed and Black Hole in the new Flash comic books. So, you know, that is a very, very valid option. Also, Cobalt Blue, due to the synopsis, there was a teaser to do with that, to do with, you know, Iris and Barry's marriage. Cobalt Blue would be Eddie Fawn, so that, you know, poses that sort of threat. And then the other option is Red Death, who was mentioned back in The Flash Season 5, so it's been a while, people have been expecting him, and I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up. So, right now, I would say it's any of them. I don't have, like, a definitive pick, but really I could see any of them being the villain for... The Flash Season 7 after Mirror Master slash Mirror Mistress is defeated. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.
see 